Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Web Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about the trigger onload in the Salesforce integration. All right, so uh, this is our demo project and um, what we will be reviewing here is a get for a product catalog. So we have here a page that displays uh, products and let's take a look at our Salesforce integration. So project settings, Salesforce integration. And the first thing we see here is trigger onload um, with the color and trigger on user action and all the trigger. Um, right now it's set up to be trigger onload. Now the trigger onload, what it does is whenever you have a get related to your page, to any page, then whenever you set it to trigger onload, whenever your user will land on that page, will run this get. So even if your get, let's say, is related to multiple pages, so whenever a user lands on any of these pages, we will run that Salesforce integration that you've set up as trigger on load. In our instance, what it does here, we're just putting up products up to 20, and we have a condition that's saying product code starts with a static value 11 dash. Uh, one thing to take into consideration, whenever you have dynamic conditions, so for instance, you will say product ID in some, let's say you had a list here with a parameter, uh, a global parameter, and you will say, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but hypothetically, you will have something like this and you have multiple static and uh, multiple dynamic conditions, you might want to change instead of using on load, you might want to use uh, user action or auto trigger so we can uh, properly uh, run, execute your Salesforce integration. All right, so let's take a look at our mapping. So we're just uh, mapping some fields from the uh, product get onto our strip. All right, so let's see this in action. So we set this to be on load, hit apply, and I'll close this. Let's publish and launch the site. And let's head over. So we saw that the product catalog didn't run in here. So whenever I land on the product catalog page or run it, I can access it. I add it to the menu so I can access it from here or just click on this button over here. Let's click this guy. And there it is. Our product uh, ran on the page load. And this is how it's done.